Hey guys, I'm Chris Godber, and today, let's talk about sax. Today I've got my Yamaha 62 Purple logo, and I'm trying out a V1 neck, which comes standard with the 82Zs. However, the old octave mechanism doesn't match the new receivers. They don't talk, so you would need an extension. Now obviously, for a permanent solution, you would take this to your tech and have an extension uh, put on. However, if you're just trying a neck, you don't want to cause anything permanent to your horn or the neck that would keep you from being able to return the neck should you not like it. So I've seen a lot of uh, remedies and fixes and things for this. Some people taping straws and different things to the octave mechanism. What I suggest is this, it's very simple. It's just one of these vinyl plastic end caps that sometimes come with cabinets to either block off a sharp edge or to make a snug fit going into a, like a peg hole into a cabinet or a drawer or something like that. I save lots of these extra ones, but you can also buy them separately. And I will put a link to an example on eBay or something in the description just so that you can uh, find these if you don't have any laying around. This is a quarter inch outside diameter. You measure the outside diameter if you're having to buy these, uh, not the inside. And it fits perfectly on the octave sleeve there, which creates just the extension that you need to reach the receiver. And now they talk to each other and now you can at least try the horn, gig with the horn, see if you really like it before you go for that more permanent solution. And you don't have that goofy straw tape to your horn, so that's gotta be worth something. Thanks so much guys for watching. I hope that helps somebody out there with this quick sax tip. Be sure to click like and subscribe. Next time I'll be posting a video about extending the path life on your horn. Also how to avoid the spit leaking out of your left hand palm keys during the gig. Remember to practice safe sax. I'll see you next time.